Okay, hey, welcome to uh, Political Science 105.1 American Government. I'm uh, Jason Lindstrom. I'll be your professor this semester. Going to go through uh, Canvas real quick and show you what um, what's going on. So when you get to your Canvas, wrapping yeah. around here. Oh, I'm sharing my screen. There we go. Okay. Should be sharing my screen now. Okay, so when you get into the first uh, bit of Canvas, if you haven't used this before, this is our online learning program at Salina Tech. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty easy. Um, your courses will pop up. This hasn't been published yet because the class hasn't started, but this will be available to you, I believe, tomorrow when this thing starts. So anyways, uh, this is your welcome page. It takes you here, gives you a course overview. Um, we'll take you to your syllabus. Uh, go back there. Uh, this will tell you a little bit about me, and this will be your, your modules. But let's, I'm going to run through the, the syllabus real quick. Um, you can download it into a document or just run through here. But um, it's an online course. There's three credit hours. Uh, it's going to move relatively quick. You can go through here and see your um, outcomes. Um, and your learning and objectives. Um, but when we're really looking at the important stuff here, you have your textbooks, which it's a free online textbook. It's called American Government. Um, you have a PDF that will take you right there. The textbook is also linked into each of the modules um, and it should be available for you there. If you don't like online books, I personally don't. Um, you probably have two options. I can't tell you that you could print this off, but that is uh, one way that you could do it. And um, I may or may not do that, or you could actually buy the book from Amazon. I think it's like 20 bucks um, and you could get a physical copy. Um, the structure of the course is relatively pretty simple. Uh, we, we go through about a chapter a week. I think in this uh, February 13th and the 20th, you have two chapters. Um, but other than that, uh, 16 week course, uh, you have you have a chapter a week, you have a reading uh, out of the textbook that you do. There's an online lecture that I'll do each week. And then there's a quiz that, that deals with that. And then for roughly each three chapters, you have a test. Uh, so our unit one test will be over chapters one, two, and three. And then you have a response. Um, and those will all be due on that Sunday that, um, unit one ends, which for unit one, it's January 30th. Um, your <clears throat> chapter one stuff is gonna be due this coming Sunday, which is the 17th. Uh, and chapter two will open up. Actually, I make everything available uh, by units. Uh, so when that first unit starts, um, the 10th, everything will be available to you outside of the test, uh, which hasn't quite been completed yet. Okay, uh, chapter four, five, six, and seven uh, will we'll open up um, on January 30th for you. So that's your syllabus, um, runs you all the way through there. Your grades, pretty uh, explanatory, 90 to 100 is an A, 80 to 89 is a B. Um, grade distribution, 50% is gonna be roughly about uh, your test. 20% for quizzes, and then each of those assignments is going to, each of those written responses is going to make up about 30% of your grade. Um, this is an introductory course to political science. Um, and so I'll talk about that uh, written assignment uh, in a bit, but don't, don't freak out about that. Like I'm not looking for graduate level stuff. I'm just trying to make sure that you're grasping and the uh, concepts we're talking about. Um, Attendance is really important. Uh, even though this is an online class, you need to set some time aside each week. If you just sit down on Sunday at 10 o'clock and try to power through everything, um, probably not going to do very well. Um, I, I do go through and put the uh, video lectures on. I try to keep them relatively short, 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, I know they're kind of boring to sit there and, and watch someone go through a slideshow, but I, I try to explain everything. I would encourage you to watch those. I would also encourage you to read the textbooks. Um, deadlines are pretty much are, are enforced. Um, if you have problems, reach out to me. I realize that uh, we, you know, we're living in strange times. 
if you get sick and you can't work, uh, let me know and we can extend some things. If something happens to your internet connection or whatever, reach out to the college, they can get a hold of me. Um, but if I don't hear from you, I, I don't know what's going on. So let's make sure that we do, do uh, keep in touch that way. Um, so that's the syllabus in a nutshell. Um, go back here. I'll introduce myself a little bit. Uh, my name is Jason Lindstrom. Um, this is my email. Email is by far the best way to get a hold of me uh, because this email goes directly to my phone. Um, if you try to communicate through with me through Canvas, uh, we have an inbox option. Um, I won't get that until I get on and, and check. And sometimes I try to check daily. Sometimes I don't. Um, I'm actually not on campus. I teach full time for another community college here in the state. Um, and so um, I don't have regular office hours. But if you do need to get a hold, if we do need to meet in person or whatever, uh, let me know and I, I can make that happen. Salina, it's not that far of a drive for me. Um, my preferred method of contact is email. Again, it's at jason.lindstrom at salinatech.edu. Uh, if you forget and you, you shoot me an inbox, that's fine. Uh, just know that I'm not, there's a possibility I won't get to it as quickly as if, if I would get an email um, by a phone. And then finally, let's talk about the important stuff that's important to you guys is, are these modules. Um, and I'm not sure how you, um, how, how you view everything when you come in, but um, basically if you go to the modules, this is how I have it set up. Um, actually, let me see if I can, I'm gonna pull this up as student view so you can, so I can show you what, uh, what you'll see. Uh, if you come in uh, to home and go over here to these, you have your assignments over here on, on the side and that's awesome. But it will also, if you go into learners uh, modules here, it will tell you a little bit about me, textbook um, and then you have your chapter one readings that are laid out here uh, if you don't want to do the pdf uh, download or whatever these these will actually take you to everything that you need um, as far as the text it's all right there for you it's pretty nice um, and then everything that we're going to do in chapter one um, will be right here so you have um, this salina area technical college government chapter one PDF, that will take you to the PowerPoint that I put together for the chapter. Um, if you click on that, um, it's there. And then if you click on this video link, you'll get to another one of these videos uh, and it will uh, walk you through um, the whole thing. If you wanna just go through and, and see what's up and like read my notes, that's fine. Uh, I think it would be beneficial for you to watch the video, uh, but that, that's up to you. Um, again, going back to chapter one, um, you'll have a chapter quiz. Um, this is locked up right now, but uh, your quiz would be here. I think it's, I think it's like 20 questions, uh, 15 or 20 questions. Oh no, I'm sorry, there's 10 questions each worth two points. Um, and it comes out of a question bank, a uh, question pool I put together. So there's a bunch of Questions. If you're sitting down with your buddy, um, you might not end up with the same quiz. Uh, so, I'm not going to encourage you to take a test quiz with a buddy, but if uh, you do, you're, you're probably not going to get the same questions, and that's cool. Um, and that's really all there is for, for chapter one. There's also a, a short introduction that I would like you guys to do, and that's locked, and that's just going to tell you about yourself. Let's leave this student view. Um, so this is what it is. Short introduction, just tell me about yourself, who you are, what you're doing, uh, and just reply to me. I'll give you some points for that. Uh, so each for each chapter, we have that. You have the PowerPoint, you have the quiz, and then chapter three is the end of section one. Um, and you have the PowerPoint and the quiz, and then you also have an assignment that will show up there. I don't know why it's not showing up right now. Uh, but this unit one response, I'm gonna talk about that real quick. Throughout the reading and the notes uh, in a government class, we're gonna have different, um, different court cases that pop up. Um, 
what your assignment is, is you're gonna select one of those court cases that's either in the textbook or in the lecture. Um, and you're gonna research it here on uh, oyez.org. Um, you're gonna discuss the facts of the case, the rulings of the case, and then you're gonna show your understanding of, uh, of that. Um, so this case is here. Um, they actually go by year. Um, but we're going to go all the way. We're going to go all the way back here, um, and we're going to sort by name. Let's see if I can. Um, I'm just going to look it up. Uh, Marbury. Do Marbury versus Madison. If it pulls up, no. No, I misspelled Marbury. That's my problem. Um, so, yes, see that. So, uh, Marbury versus Madison, um, you'd have your case syllabus here. It's going to tell you the facts of the case. Um, and you can read through that, the case itself. Um, you go through there. there there's, there's quite a bit of reading, but, like, you can, you can kind of figure out what, uh, what goes on. Where are we at? Marbury versus Madison. Um, and you can view the case. Is that already? Okay. Um, and so for this assignment, uh, you're going to discuss the facts of the case. Uh, you're going to discuss the ruling of the case and why the why the case uh, why the I should say why the court chose to decide the case in the manner in which they did. Uh, typically, that will be in the um, opinion of the court. And then just understand how this relates back to um, the topic that we discussed. Um, topic one is, is um, federalism. And so you're going to want to pick a case that deals with um, the, the shared powers of the shared powers of Congress. Um, federal Congress and state powers or something along that line. And we'll try, so I'm, I'm not looking for a huge paper here, probably one and a half, two pages, double space, something along those lines. Uh, three paragraphs, three body paragraphs would be nice for a little introduction and conclusion. Um, but you're gonna have one of those each unit. Um, again, don't wait until January 29th to be writing that. Um, you have 20 days to find your court case and to, to research it a little bit. Um, OYEZ is a good uh, organization for that. If you need to find something outside of, of there, you can do that as well. Um, big thing, though, is this should be your own work. I realize that I'm not going to get huge um, scholarly work from um, freshmen and sophomores in the introduction class. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. I don't want um, to know what... Uh, constitutional scholars think of this case, I want, I want to know what you do and, and, and what you learned. Um, so that, that gets us through the, the, the majority of it. Um, make sure that you're going to get um, your, your quizzes done, uh, your introduction done. These are going to be due on the 16th, which is that Sunday. Uh, and then we'll move on to chapter two and whatnot. So um, once I finish up the uh, unit one test, which should, should be here pretty quick, um, I will get that posted and it'll be available to you as well. So if you have any questions, reach out to me by email. But other than that, I'm really looking forward to the class and um, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.